So you can't bargain your way into getting uh, onto the court. So any senator who tries to bargain with a nominee, will you uphold the case I like or overturn the ones I don't, is really doing a disservice to the court. There's Lindsey Graham, he's talking about what's been discussed as far as these Supreme Court justices that were confirmed and how they've since gotten on the court. And it seems that they've changed their position on where they said they would be voting on Roe versus Wade. He's upset at senators that were talking about how this happened and maybe they've been misled. Again, these nominees that were under oath being asked by senators where their stances are on things. But apparently that's not good enough for Lindsey Graham. In fact, he's very upset about this. This is somehow just a democratic issue. Let's listen to more from Lindsey. Some senators are now openly questioning yeah. whether um, they were misled in the confirmation hearings. This is from Senator Susan Collins uh, this week. If this leaked draft opinion is the final decision and this reporting is accurate, it would be completely inconsistent with what Justice Gorsuch and Justice Kavanaugh said in their hearings and in our meetings in my office. This has not been well accepted by the public. The public has been divided since 1973. Ask your next guest, who's a good friend, does he want Want the court to reconsider Citizens versus United regarding campaign finance laws? Would he welcome a, a, a revisiting of the Heller decision where the court said the Second Amendment was a personal right? So my liberal friends don't mind the court overturning decisions they don't like. They very, very much are against overturning decisions that they agree with. So so Mitch McConnell responded to what Susan Collins said about Supreme Court justices misleading her. And somehow it's a democratic thing. These libs want us to change laws in the Supreme Court based off what they like. But when it comes to the other side, they don't want that. That's what everybody does. That's what everybody does. But when you're asking a Supreme Court justice because they're going to a lifetime appointment, that's the whole point. They're above that fray. They're above being a senator or a congressperson who's a part of a political party, right? I thought that was the original point about this. So when you ask someone what their judicial opinion is on something, they're supposed to tell you the truth because they're supposed to be above the fray of, of political back and forth. But somehow, Mitch, uh, not Mitch McConnell, but in this case, Lindsey Graham thinks it's just okay. And in fact, it's the senators that have a problem with that. Not Susan Collins somehow, just Democrats. Um, so really fast, uh, Dave, because I, I was wondering if there was some kind of punishment for lying under oath. Um, I don't know if it's specific to Supreme Court justice nominees, but here's the penalty. Section 1621 covers general perjury and stipulates that anyone who quote willfully and contrary to, uh, to such oath states or subscribes any material matter which he does not believe to be true is guilty of perjury and shall be fined or imprisoned up to five years uh, or both. It says, uh, David, what's your thoughts here, man? My thought is that Lindsey Graham just made a case for why these hearings, these confirmation hearings are now absolutely worthless. Because what right. Lindsey Graham is saying is that, oh, it's fine for people to sort of hedge or do lie or to say, well, I don't really know for sure. Because it's irrelevant because these these justices, once they become on the Supreme Court, they're gonna do what they really wanna do anyway. So what's the point in, in asking them is essentially what Lindsey Graham is saying that it's kind of like silly to try to ask a Supreme Court justice what their view might be on certain parts of the Constitution or on the 14th Amendment or the right to privacy. To me, that's really dangerous and it, and it undermines, I mean, people talk about the institution of the Supreme Court being undermined by the leak. Well, what Lindsey Graham and other Republican senators are doing are simply undermining the institution of confirmation hearings because now they are saying they are essentially worthless and it's okay for anybody to go in and say whatever they need to say in order to get confirmed because it doesn't really matter. It's exactly what he's saying. I was wondering that too, because actually I thought that as they were going through the Kataji Brown Jackson hearings, I was like, wait a second, what's the point about this whole thing then? They don't expect to her to say anything that they would agree with. If she did, they would absolutely ignore it. And there's a reason behind that. The confirmation process is no longer about the justice. We, that, that gets adjudicated beforehand because they go through a long selection process. A lot of times these people down the whole pike and they're selected by someone else and presented to the potential president that's doing the whole thing. But I think what Lindsey Graham took from the whole confirmation process that he gets to have some self promotion time and he releases stupid things like this. I'm with you 100%. In the last several years, we've had three Supreme Court hearings. The game has changed. Remember Amy Comey Barrett, how they came after her? Remember Kavanaugh? I do. To compare that hearing with what happened to Judge Jackson is ridiculous. She wasn't ambushed. I asked her hard questions and she gave bad answers. I voted no to Judge Jackson. 
And now I understand why the radical left wanted her so badly. She's a judicial activist. She gets the outcome she wants, no matter how the law is written. When it comes to crime, her record is very, very dangerous. That doesn't work with me. When we ask hard questions of an African-American nominee who's liberal, all of a sudden we're racist. They destroy conservative judges and expect us to just clap and vote yes. That's ridiculous, dangerous, and it is not going to happen. I'm Lindsey Graham, and I use the confirmation process for self-promotion. Jesus, I'm so tired of this guy. Any other thoughts, Dave, before we go to this break? I mean, look, I remember I remember a lot of Republicans ambushing uh, Ketanji Brown Jackson at her hearing and asking about things that she had nothing to do with, like critical race theory and on and on. So look, it's clear that this is, as you pointed out, these hearings are a circus. They're an effort for senators to lift their own sort of profile. They will do anything they can. The hearings are now worthless. Lindsey Graham just underscored that, so fine. From now on, let's just not have hearings. Let's just put the nominee forward and then have an up or down vote.